It's the rock era. If you can smell it, la 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 Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the broadcast of tonight's matchup between your Lakeside Rams and the Malvern Leopards here on Lakeside TV. I am Lucas Tuberville alongside my partner, Parker Hudmo. Before we get into it, we'd like to give a special thank you to tonight's game sponsor, Arkansas State Three Rivers. The Rams are hot. They are currently sitting at 2-0 after taking down the Russellville Cyclones last week, 36-31. Jacob Hermosillo continues to impress after he had another spectacular performance last week. Stat line: 353 yards, four touchdowns. Much more effective through the air than Week One. Didn't have much success on the ground, but a big game for Jacob Hermosillo. But it wasn't just him. Kyler Wolf also showed up big time with a huge game: 155 yards receiving and a touchdown. Had that big touchdown, 67 yards. Gave the Rams a lot of momentum. And it doesn't stop there. Skyler Purifoy also showed up big time for the Rams with his first pair of touchdowns of the new season. Six catches, 115 yards, and a couple touchdowns. Looked absolutely unstoppable. Coach Rock has the Rams rolling as they get ready to take on the reigning 4A state champs, the Malvern Leopards. Malvern is currently 1-1 one and, one and coming off a win against Glen Rose, 44-13. They lost two weeks ago in their opener after they put on a classic with Walnut Grove the Leopards would ultimately fall 57-54. to The Leopards are led by running back Jalen Dupree, who is one of the best backs in Arkansas and is committed to the Colorado State Rams. Dupree already has 44 carries for 409 yards and 7 touchdowns. He isn't the entire offense, though, as wide receiver Dylon Caradon has 13 catches for 293 yards and 3 touchdowns this season. And he is also a D1 commit, committed to Air Force. The Rams looking to start the season off 3 and 0. Oh. It's a big game against the reigning 4A state champs. Malvern has three D1 commits on the offense. Vinny Winters, Dylon Car Cardine, and Jalen Dupree, of course. Star running back, going to Colorado State. Take a look at the Rams starting offensive line for tonight's game. Four seniors. Miles Beck is starting at right tackle. Tucker Young, who's a sophomore, will be on that starting offensive line sometime this season. Currently out with an injury. Yeah, I mean, so far I have been a lot more impressed with the O-line this year than last year. I think the pass protection's a lot better. Um, bigger bodies up there. Miles Makins really played well. He plays both sides of the ball for Lakeside. And when Tucker Young gets back, it'll really provide some depth for this line. He's done a great job so far. And now we'll take a look at the rest of the starters on the offense for Lakeside. As you see, they're the captains. Number 67, Caden Nesbitt there. Here are the starting skill players for the Rams. Of course, quarterback Jacob Hermosillo along with star senior wide receivers Kyler Wolf and Skyler Purifoy. And don't sleep on Ben Vincent and Ryan Ballard, who have 
made big impact so far this year. Ryan Bauer in the Lake Hamilton game, Ben Vincent last week, and Grady Omen, an absolute tank carrying the ball. Hard to bring down. Yeah, so far, uh, juniors Ryan Ballard and Ben Vincent have been some of our best deep threats so far as Ryan Ballard and Ben Vincent have both had several plays in the first two games where they've got a deep pass or caused the pass interference to set up great field positioning for the Rams. Grady Oman lists his running back there. He actually splits the backfield with Landon Matthews, who is a very good runner, incredibly fast. Incredibly aggressive. Starts on defense as well. Rams are in a good spot this year. Captains for the Rams. Looks like number 67, Caden Nesbitt. Number 5, Jalen Nelson. Number 11, Landon Matthews. And I believe that is number 34, Mason Wynn. Fans, are you ready for some football? Here come the Rams, locked arms, led by Coach Rock. We talked about it last week, but man, Coach Rock has had such an impact on the players, on the school, on the fans. And he's looking to start the season 3-0. and Would like to mention there are two key players out for the Rams tonight. One of them we already mentioned, Tucker Young, who was out for the first two games, and now Brady Sourbutts, who is out for the majority of this game. Might possibly suit up in the fourth quarter, but we'll have to see. He got ejected in the last game against Russellville. So he'll be without one of their better tacklers on defense. Starting in his spot, though, should be Luke Robleski and a little bit of Doak Douglas. Both who played well last week. Made very good open field Absolutely. tackles. Absolutely. Doak Douglas. Especially on that last drive. Doak Douglas, I believe, had a tackle for loss even. Mm -hmm. And just a short amount of time he played. This Doak Douglas last week, in a short amount of time, had four tackles and a tackle for loss. I believe only played a couple drives. That's a good sign for the Rams when you're looking to put in a man for Brady Sauerbutz. The Rams will kick off number 16, Caleb Alines. I'd like to say Caleb Alines in warm-ups was nailing 50 yarders, which is a weapon for Lakeside that a lot of high school teams don't have. You got the blue color rush kicking off to the white color rush unis. Jalen Dupree is back to receive the future Colorado State Ram. And we are off. Lines kicks it deep. It'll be a touchback. And we'll see what the Lakeside defense can do on their first drive of the game. That's a great job by the Lions. I assume the special teams coaches told him to try to kick it away from Dupree if at all possible. And he did exactly that. See what the Rams have in store for us defensively. Expect a lot of the run game for Malvern as they ran the ball. Last week against Glen Rose, I think 39 times for 395 yards. So, Luke Robleski is getting the start tonight for the Rams for in place of Sour Butts. Expect a lot of running here from the Leopards as they start with Dupree, who gets to the outside. And he'll get about eight or nine yards. It's a good first run for Jalen Dupree. Some Alvin offense will take some deep shots occasionally. Mainly two star receiver and DB, Dylon Caradon. 
Number 24, Air Force commit. Ham and Dupree are their two impact players for Melbourne offensively. Throwing it is Allen. He'll heave it up and a great diving catch. They're going to call it incomplete. A little close from here. I'll call it incomplete. It's good for the Rams. AJ Howard. In coverage. In last week's game, Jalen Dupree recorded 25 carries for 257 yards and three touchdowns. As the Leopards won 44 to 13. And the Rams swallow up Dupree there. And it'll be third down, just like that. Great job by the Rams, forcing a third and ten. Got to get off the field here. Third and eight, excuse me. Big play early in the game. If the Rams can get off the field after only surrendering one first down, it would be a huge win for Coach Rock's team. Third down and eight. Could be looking for Dylon here. Back to pass, throws it, got his man, first down, it is Cardine. He had five catches, 139 yards, and two touchdowns a week ago. He is usually their go-to guy when they do decide to pass. Looks like we're going to have wildcat formation coming up as they've subbed out the quarterback. Direct snap. Dupree takes it, runs left side, getting a first down and still going. And he's lost the football. And I believe the Rams have it. No signal yet. The Rams sideline is sure excited. They believe they have it. I didn't see what happened. Someone must have punched it out at the end. Hermosillo and RJ Ang's ready to go out on the field. They're going to say Malvern keeps it. Got to wonder what happened there. All the Rams are putting. They had the ball, and Malvern wasn't even going to try and debate it. Another big run. Landon Matthews trying to bring him down. He was basically getting carried. Great pursuit by senior Landon Matthews to track him down and potentially save a touchdown. Jalen Dupree might be the star of this offense, but Tavian, Tavian Clegg last week had 14 carries, 138 yards, and one touchdown. He's number 35 for the Leopards. Throwing deep to the end zone, but A.J. Howard gets the hand up and knocks it down, incomplete. Great play in the open field by senior A.J. Howard. Was with Dylan Caradon step for step and was able to make the play. Didn't get antsy, didn't go for the interception. Kept it simple, got the knockdown, and now it's second down and 10 for the Leopards. Three runs left side, gets a first down and more. Good open field tackle by Max Story. Got him around the legs. Trayvon totally coming in now for Witherspoon. Mm -hmm. 
Free in the Wildcat gives it to Clegg. It doesn't get much. So far, the Rams D line is doing a decent job around the line of scrimmage. Not letting any big running lanes open up as of yet. Problem right now for the Rams is the Leopards getting to the outside, getting those big yards, and a timeout, Malvern. Want to give a special shout out? to Reliance Bank for sponsoring tonight's game. Thank you, Reliance Bank. And the Rams know heading into this game that it's going to be tough to stop the run from Dupree and Clegg. And so they have to be ready offensively to answer back if it turns into a shootout. affect the game. There's head coach Garen Rockwell right behind him, well to the side of him. It's defensive coordinator Jacob Reynolds. In from Sylvan Hills, former state champ. Dupree alone in the backfield. He'll take the snap. He's going to run to the left side, fake the throw. Grady Oman keeping him contained, though. An impressive chase down from number 44, Grady Oman. Yeah, that was a great job by Grady Oman. Not letting him cut back inside. Third and short for the Leopards. Dupree takes the snap, runs left. Great job by number 22. It's Joseph Newman, that's leading a, tackler last week. Yeah, that's a great job by Joseph Newman. Arguably the best open field tackler on this team with the physicality he brings. One of the emotional leaders of this defense brings up a huge fourth and three. Fourth down and three. Dupree in the backfield again. Takes a snap, runs it. And he's going to get into the end zone, I believe. He reached, and he did score. Malvern touchdown. On the play before that, though, Joseph Newman made the great tackle. We see his stats last week. 11 total tackles. Ten of them were solo tackles. Joseph Newman, only a junior, ladies and gentlemen, going to be a key piece of this Rams defense this year and next. It was a great effort by the Rams defense on that drive. Just in the end, the pre is just too powerful down and around the goal line. Point after is good. Mauer takes an early 7-0 lead. Now 
now we're set to kick off. Now we're kicking off now, number 19. Away. It's gonna go to it's gonna go out touchback. Looks like Bauer's getting ready to catch it. But. Smart decision by Bauer to let it roll into the end zone as that'll set up the Rams with pretty good start and field position and see how they can respond on offense. Rams a little bit of a new strategy this week. The offense now has wristbands for the play calls. And you can see I believe Russellville was starting to catch on to Coach Masters' signals. Coach Rock was having to cover it up with the towel. Remember that, Parker? I do. So. I know they had wristbands. <laughs> wristbands. I know they had wristbands for the defense last week, but now both defense and offense have them. See how effective it is for Lakeside as Landon Matthews gets the first carry of the game for the Rams, and he'll get a, he'll pick up a couple. Another handoff to Matthews. He's brought down quickly. At the line of scrimmage, might have even lost a yard. Oh, looks like he lost a couple there. And now it'll be third and 10 for Lakeside. Looked like Lakeside wanted to get the ground game off to a good start early. But now it brings up a third and 10. See if they can convert. Big play here. If you want to go punch for punch with Malvern. Third down and 10. Hermosillo drops back to pass. He'll roll out to his left and throw it on the run. And it is out of bounds. It'll be fourth down. The Rams will punt. Disappointing first drive for the Rams. See if they can pin him deep with the punt. Here from senior Brady Arnold. Arnold has a big leg. See if he can punt it away from Dylon here. See, he might be dangerous in the open field. And he does a great job of that. Pretty good punt. Malvert will take over first down and 10 from the 37 yard line. Rams going to be good about stopping. The outside run on this drive was Malvern's key on their scoring drive. Anything between the tackles the Rams seem to have under control, but anything on the outside was a struggle defensively. Rolls out, throws deep left side for Dylon. He's got it. And he will score effortlessly. This is a great throw by the quarterback. Hit him in stride. Kind of led him away from the corner, A.J. Howard almost. And there was no stopping Dylon on that touchdown reception as he had Howard beat. Extra point here for the Leopards is up, and it is good. 14-0, just like that. Good thing is, with it being two quick scores, Rams got a lot of time to make up for it, and they can start on this drive by 
hopefully having a little bit more success on offense than they did the last drive where they went three and out. Maybe just getting a first down or a reception can get this team going. Seems they've come out a little flat. Deep ball was a problem for the Rams last week, even though they were able to come out on top. A couple deep touchdowns for Russellville. And now Malvern, second touchdown of the game, comes via the deep ball, and the kickoff will go to Ballard this time. We'll bring it out from around the 10. Be a nice return up to the 30-yard line. Rams will take over first down and 10. Better starting field position for the Rams. See if they can get the passing game going. As that's been the go-to so far these first two games. Got a great quarterback in Hermosillo who's been pretty accurate with the ball these first two games. and Really great playmakers on the outside. And Purefoy and Wolf. See if they can get them involved. They go five wide here. And now Oman comes back into the backfield with Hermosillo. It's a handoff. Run game not looking very good so far for the Rams. Three runs so far, I believe, for only a gain of two. Let's see if they take a shot and challenge these Malvern corners. Got Purifoy out here on the left. One on one, no safety help. Maybe take a shot, draw a flag. They'll throw it here, and they get it to Kyler Wolf, who gets the first down to make it a nice move. And the Rams start to move the ball. Great play by Kyler Wolf on the comeback route. He was able to make a move after the catch and get the first down. Looks like throwing the ball is going to have to be the method of attack for the Rams. At least for now. Same formation as a moment ago. It's a handoff to Omen. And it'll get maybe a yard once again. They just keep setting themselves up with long second downs. You would like to get at least three or four on first down to make the next two a little bit easier. And now Ballard checks in for Arnold. Ballard definitely be a factor in this one if he can get open deep. Showed it in Lake Hamilton with the deep touchdown reception. I think every chance you get, though, for the Rams, you got to target whichever corners, Garden, Wolf, or Purifoy, as they do have the size advantage. Marcio will roll out. Throws it up. Looks going to be too far there into the kicking net. The pressure was coming pretty quickly. I believe yeah. from number 11, Omer Bennett. You know, you're almost glad that the ball was out of play because if it would have been in play, there were three Malvern defenders in that area right beside Ben Vincent. If you see that very tall defense alignment for Malvern, that is Akir, Sh Akir Smith, number 52 for the Leopards, listed here as six foot six, and he looks it. Hermosillo throws, intercepted. And they can't get him down. He's finally brought down at the 46, 45 yard line. And the struggles continue for Lakeside. So far, they don't look quite like the same team that we've seen the first two weeks. See if they can get some momentum back here defensively and force a turnover. 
Just haven't really started the game with a whole lot of energy. It seems like Malvern's bringing it to them. Hammer Seal, while the stats look good, that is his third straight game, all three games this year with an interception now. Hopefully the Rams can bounce back on the next drive and get some points on the board. Hopefully the defense can stop him here. As the Leopards lead 14-0 right now with 2.37 to go in the first quarter. The Rams had a little drive going on the last possession. Showed they can move the ball. Seventy-six on the O line for Malvern. Vinny Winters, D one, commit. University of Arkansas. It would be a big get for the Razorbacks if they could land him, keep him committed. Listed here as six four three ten. He Definitely looks 6'4". He could even be taller. That's one thing Malvern's got on Lakeside tonight is size. The Rams notoriously known for their lack of size. But they make up for it with their speed and effort. As Jalen Dupree runs this up for a first down. So far, this wildcat formation for Malvern has kind of taken a toll on this Rams front. As they haven't really been able to stop it so far. out to his left, printing a space to run, and he will, and he'll get the first down as he gets out of bounds. Got to keep track of him in the open field as he's one of their top rushers along with their two backs. Malvern showing why they are the defending 4A state champs, even though they started off this season with a loss. Handoff here. Go for a decent gain. That was Clegg on the run. I'd like to go back to Vinny Winters. He's actually he's been offered from Arkansas, but he's not committed. He also has offers from Arkansas State, Kansas State, Memphis, and Missouri. So five big-time offers, but still uncommitted. Another timeout taken by Malvern. Take a quick moment to thank tonight's sponsor, one of tonight's sponsors, Reliance Bank. We'll take a break. Malvern leads 14-0. And they're driving. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? 
We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M-Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Getting ready for a second down and seven. With about 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Now we're looking to take a 21 to zero lead. Great job there. From Joseph Newman and Grady Oman to bring down Dupree. Good gang tackling by the Rams. It usually takes more than one guy to bring Dupree down. It'll be Malvern's, I believe, second, third down of the game. And that's the end of the first quarter. Malvern leads 14 to zero. I believe he has four now on the season. We'll also take a look at Landon Matthews, who has been playing both sides of the ball this year. Big third down and six here. So the chains are definitely in the wrong spots. And the ref's going to try and fix it. They're either hung up or they're just not quite sure what's going on. The Malvern coach throwing up his arms in disgust. There has been several stoppages of play. I'd like for them to get that worked out as it holds the game up. Got to imagine this is a two-play deal for Malvern. Got to be ready for two plays if you're the Rams. Oh, my goodness. What in the world? Have have we never worked a game before? Has <laughs> the chain gang never done this? There seems to be lots of confusion. All right. I think we are ready. Third right. down and six. Let's play some football. Rams are looking for a big stop. Down 14-0. to zero. See what the Leopards drop. It's a flip, and it's going to get the first down. Number five, their tight end, Keelan Jun Juniel. That is most likely wrong, but we'll go with it. It's a good effort. First down for Malvern. Rams are going to have to force some turnovers if they want to. Get the momentum back. Can't afford to go down by three touchdowns this early in the game. Hand out to Dupree. Rams have looked a little better at stopping the outside run so far. 
Jalen Nelson's going to come in now for Landon Matthews. Jalen Nelson, one of those players who are just now coming back. One of the opportunity to play with Coach Rock. Play under Coach Rock, I guess. We'll say the first down defense from the Rams has improved as the game has gone on. They're not getting seven and eight yards every play, but. Allen back to pass. Pressure gets to him. It's Arnold. He's going to roll right and throw it late. And he'll just throw it out of bounds. Good pressure there from number 24, Brady Arnold, who had a great game last week. And it's third down again, and Witherspoon will come in for Miller. A little more speed on third down. I expect maybe a blitz, rush the passer. Spoon has played a bigger role this year. He's been the starting nose tackle despite his size. Gives shows him you, speed, though. On the, shows you how yeah. great he must have been looked in the offseason in that spot. Here we go, third down and eight. It's a run. And he won't get there. Dupree is brought down. Jalen Nelson Joseph and Newman. Joseph Newman on the tackle. Seems like Newman's been everywhere so far tonight. Doing a great job setting the edge. I mean, no matter where the tackle is, Joseph Newman is definitely in the vicinity. Even if he's not making the tackle, he's right there just in case. Right there making the big tackle. And it's fourth and five. Clifford's got nothing to lose right now, up 14 to zero. They're gonna go for it. Allen in the backfield with Dupree. Stop here, puts you right back in the game for the Rams. Rams loading the line of scrimmage. And they'll take their third and final time out of the half with 10 minutes left in the second quarter. Take a look at one of the starters for the Rams on defense. Max Story has come up clutch in back-to-back -back games. Lake Hamilton was huge on back-to-back -back drives where Lake Hamilton had the ball in the red zone. And he forced a final incompletion last week to beat the Cyclones and secure the Rams a 2-0 record. Known around town these days is Story Island because of that uh, PBU against Russellville. Huge play here for the Rams. If you want to stay in this game, you got to get this stop. Got to get this turnover on downs. Imagine the ball is going to Dupree or Dylan. Got to be locked in on those two guys. Allen back to pass. Throws it for Dupree. Intercepted. Grady Oman, the oh. linebacker, the running back. Makes the interception, and what a play for the Rams. Got to be great for momentum. Number 44, Grady Oman. And you got to imagine Matthews will go in offensively and give Oman some rest after that long drive. Great job by the Rams. Finally getting a stop. And the Rams will have it first down and 10. It's a great play by Grady Oman, usually known for his strength and power at the linebacker and running back positions, but shows off his hands there. As he was, it was going to be incomplete, but decided to go ahead and get a pick for himself. I think that's his first pick of his Lakeside career. As we usually don't see Omen in coverage too much, we usually see him up around the line making hits. Rams will take a timeout. Big interception for Grady Omen. And the Rams defense making the stop. Big turnover, 14-0 Malvern leads. We'll be back after this. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, 
and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. Rams first down and sent from the 11-yard line. Looking to finally get on the board. Let's start off with a handoff to Matthews. As the run game continues to not work. And I believe we got a flag on Bennett for Malvern. Maybe that's the plan for the run game to not get a lot of yards, and then Malvern pushes him back and causes a penalty. That run's going to give him more yards than they've had rushing on the ground all night. You can thank the Stripes for longest pickup of the night for the Rams. Preferably, you would like the Rams to use all nine minutes and 40 seconds of the clock and score a touchdown. That would be ideal. Ballard motions out to the right. Hermosillo winds up deep for Ballard. If he can get it, he does! What a catch, Ryan Ballard! Perfectly placed between the two defenders. And the Rams will get it at the 41, and they're moving. What a play by Ryan Ballard as he came back to catch it. That's a great job. It didn't look like Ballard was gonna beat him deep and that wasn't what Hermosillo was looking for. He's looking to put it right on the money around the 40 yard line, he did. Rams starting to build some momentum after the interception by Grady Oman who is now in the backfield for the Rams. The Swiss Army knife for this team. Looks like a run, it is. And Oman holds onto the ball, and it's another great run for the Rams. Run game starting to come to life a little bit after that big pickup. Maybe that'll start to open some holes in that line. Second down and three. See if they run the ball again here, if they try to pick it up through the air. You'd like to see some more targets for Purefoy here. Hadn't got a whole lot of touches here in this first half. I don't think a single one, actually. You read my mind. Parker was going to say try and get Purefoy the ball. Hasn't gotten it tonight. He's looking for Wolf, though. Dude, on somebody, he's got to get a flag there for holding, and they Nearly do. Caught it. And they almost still made the grab. That was the most obvious holding call, and he's going to act like he didn't just hold Tyler Wolf. I'm sure we caught that on the camera. Yeah, I think everyone caught it. <laughs> I mean, you can see oh, the pads. Man. Defensive holding, and the Rams will move up. It's a first down for Lakeside. I think it was holding him for the better part of 10 yards, so I'm not entirely sure why he's confused. But usually all corners are like that. You know, they throw so a flag on him, and it's like that. It's confused. definitely a strategy, though. He might have gotten beat deep. He might have just prevented a touchdown, but it gives the Rams a first down. I thought he almost head-topped him. Wolf almost caught that ball. He got his hands the on it. The ball did go a little bit shorter than I thought it was. I thought he was going to make the catch. It's going to be a run here to Matthews. Be a short gain, but one of the better ones of the night. Yeah, starting to be a lot more space in the run game. As looks like the passing game has opened that up a good bit. If you want to be efficient on the ground, you got to be efficient through the air first. Or vice versa. <laughs> Second down and eight. 
Shield drops back to pass, throws it to Wolf, and a little bit of confusion as the interception is dropped. Would have been, an, should have been an easy interception there. Well, I mean, he was like a little falling bit of, out of bounds. Mix up on the route there. Oh yeah. well, yeah, but. Was caught up between wanting to stay with Wolf and going for the ball, and it ended up costing him the turnover. Third down and eight now. Like to see a shot for Purefoy. Yep, jumped off sides. Good job by Hermosillo to get the D lineman to jump off sides. Should be third and three coming up now. Might change the play call here for the Rams as Hermosillo comes over to the sideline to have a talk with Coach Masters. Big Matthew Miller checks in now. Wolf and the Wildcat, third and two. Saw a lot of this versus like Hamilton. It got him two touchdowns. Couldn't get him one here, and it does. Kyler Wolf, touchdown. His third rushing touchdown of the year. What a play by senior Kyler Wolf, tin and blue, showing off some Tyreek Hill speed. LaSalle, wearing that number 10. The center, David LaSalle, looked a little shaken up. He was on the ground, but he pops right back up, and he's ready for the field goal. As the good ones always do. They're ready for everything. Wolf showed his speed and athleticism. It was bottled up at first, but bounced to the outside. Oh. And they're going to get him offsides again. Offsides on the PAT. Leopards are just a little bit jumpy, aren't they? And now you got to wonder maybe. A little jump fest going on. Oh, did you go for two? Uh, that's what I was thinking, but I guess, you know. Wildcat with Wolf? That's what I do. I bank on keeping it close here. 14 to 7 if he gets this up and through, which. He's been great this season so far at 16 Caleb Lines. On the point after. And he makes it. He stays perfect on the year. And the Rams score. Malvern up 14 to seven, but the Rams showing a lot of life now with the interception leading to the touchdown. Took a couple minutes off the clock. And I will see what the Rams can do defensively if they can force another turnover. You know, we'll say at this point, a Caleb Belines extra point attempt is probably the safest bet you could make. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't think he's missed one since his very first attempt. I think you were right. Which is a lot in a row. <laughs> in his first ever game, he actually made the game-winning field goal. Been at the game versus yep. Nashville. And that was when the legend of Mr. Caleb Belines was born. and is still growing to this day. See what the Rams decide to do here. If they kick it deep, as the Lions already proved he can, or if they had a squib quick, or quick chick kick, there it is. Or pop it up like they do often. Palmer does leave the center of the field very open. The Lions will kick it to about the 30. It's bobbled. Recover. Please. Lakeside's got to have it. They got to have it. It went right to him. It did. They have to. It went right to him. The Rams have the ball. Bang, baby. Caleb the Lions with a great kick. Perfect placement. And that, just when I was talking about, there's a lot of space there. The, the Leopard had to come up and catch the ball. And it was too much for him. And the Rams will try and score again to tie the ball game here in the second quarter. Great job by Mr. Valines as, like you said, Lucas, put in a, a perfect position where the kick returner from Alvern had to really kind of run onto it full speed and just could get under it, hit his knee, and popped out. Popped out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
I'm so excited. Let's see what the Rams can do with 7.20 on the clock. They run it with Omen here to start. Who gets the edge, stays in bounds. He might have a first down, be close. Walking the tightrope over there like a gymnast. Oh, they might give him the first down here. I think they, oh, it's going to be really close. Shout out Simone Biles, <laughs> top tier gymnast. It'll be second down and short. Second down and two. Possibly another run here with Matthews in the backfield. He will take it and he will try to hit the hole and he lost the football. And Malvern has it. Unfortunate turn of events for the Rams is all the momentum was in their favor and looked to be another promising drive, that one. Well, this is where Malvern, around where they would have been, maybe a couple yards back if they would have received the kickoff. That's true. That's true. So, I mean, let's just pretend that offensive drive never happened. The muff never happened. The muff never happened. Just and the, Ram, the Malvern leverage take over. It's seven minutes on the clock. Let's see what they do up 14 to 7. Everything's how it should be. Allen rolls right, throws to Cardine, and he's shifty, but he's not going to get the first down. Good job by the Rams defense rallying around Howard and getting carried onto the ground. Second down and short. A big run here from Jalen Dupree now. He might score. He's going on the sideline flying. Chase Dew makes the tackle of a great tackle for Chase Dew inside the 10. That was a great open field tackle by Chase Dew. Touchdown saving tackle as Dupree was gone, but Dew turned on the track speed and hit the turbo boost and got him down as... You know, Dupree's a lot bigger, but they would made the hit. We'll see if the Rams can make another stop inside the 10, and they do here on the first run. And you got to take advantage right now if you're the Rams. Dupree is probably going to be out. Never mind. He's coming right back in. <laughs> Usually after a 70-yard run. He does look a little tired, but yeah. down here at the goal line, all he has to do is use his power to right. get to the end zone, so. Dupree brought down again. It's third down and goal. You got to think this is two play territory for Malvern. Two more plays. But the Rams have had great defense here inside the 10, 15 yard line. Interesting move here. Miller comes out of the game. Spoon stays in on the goal line stand. Dupree will take it out of the Wildcat. Again, run left side and he will score. Max Story not gonna be enough to stop Jalen Dupree. Flag came in late. Couldn't tell if it was after the play or during the play. Potential to come back.
the refs doing what they've done most of this game and discussing. Uh, I believe they just ejected. Or maybe it's to come out for a play. I'm not sure what just happened. What did he do? I didn't see what he did. No, they just ejected Landon Matthews. I'm not sure what happened there. I didn't see it. Let's see if I can pull up our live stream here and find what in tarnation happened. Yeah, I mean, it either happened in the middle of the play where all the bodies were or right after because I never saw anything happen. But it had to have been pretty bad if they are going to up and eject him. It's an unfortunate loss for Lakeside as Landon Matthews is a two-way player, plays both running back and safety for the Rams. Now the Rams defense down two key players with him and Sour Butts both being out. Oh, Matthews. Yeah, looking back at it, I believe he kicked a Malvern Leopard while he was on the ground. I mean, it was. If you go back and rewind the stream, ladies and gentlemen, you, you'll see it. Uh, yeah, bad. That'll be an ejection for sure. Gotta have cooler heads if you're the Rams. Malvern takes a 21 to seven lead now. Lakeside can respond with the touchdown and make this a one possession game at halftime. That would be huge because the Rams do receive the second half kickoff. So ideally a touchdown that would take up these last five minutes would be crucial. Away, it'll be a touchback. It might go through the uprights. My goodness, that was oh close. My goodness. Which I guess they get they get the short kick. That is true. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah, not impressive anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> we got to be nicer to the kickers, Parker. Show them some. Show them the respect they deserve. Hey, I'm just joking. It's all it's all love. Five minutes to go in the first half. Malvern is up twenty-one to seven. Need a touchdown here for the Rams. You know, you really think at some point they target Purefoy over there as there's no safety help. One-on-one, -on -one, he's a matchup nightmare. They continue to roll away from him. Kyler Wolf breaking two tackles. Gets the first down. On his big touchdown last week, he broke two or three, I believe. Maybe even four. Can't remember how many it was. You know, the thing with Kyler is he's not just super athletic with really good hands. He's super hard to bring to the ground as he's Pretty big dude. He's an all-around receiver. He can do it all. He's got the speed, the strength, the route running. Well. Hand off to Omen. Right side finds the hole. I'll get about three or four yards there. Rams are doing a lot better on first down now. Instead of picking up one to two yards, they're picking up three to four, so. Make second down a bit easier. Should be like second and six, second and seven. Second down and seven coming up with about four minutes to go. 
It's a pretty big drive, Lucas. If you go down to if the Rams can halftime, only down by one touchdown. Uh, that's yeah, and right. they did kick off to start the game. Alvin did receive. Mm -hmm. So if you can score here and on a lot of clock, score. And they come on a halftime and score would be big for the Rams. Hammer Seal drops back to pass, winding up deep, dialing up for Kyler Wolf, who Gotta cannot be make the catch. It has to and be. they're not going to call the flag, even though he was restricted completely from making the grab. Yeah, the safety got there early. Bumped Kyler Wolf in the chest before the ball got there, but hey. You make some calls and you miss some Maybe calls. Maybe if Kyler Wolf wants that call, he'd have to. Maybe he should have thrown himself. Thrown <laughs> yeah. himself, sold yeah. it, flopped. Maybe even take his cleats off and socks and throw them in the air. That was definitely interesting. Hammer CO <laughs> now, third down and seven. I just wonder. Deep shot for Purefoy. That's what I was. Rolling to his side. I wonder when they're going to get the ball to him. And they do. It's a first down, and he gets out of bounds. And that's the first catch of the night for Seymour. Miles making a little shaking up. Skyler Purefoy. He got up slowly, but he'll stay in the game. Well, you definitely don't want an injured lineman in there. No, especially with. Especially when you have Matthew Miller on the sideline, you mm -hmm. can come in and play. But Tucker Young's out. It just makes your depth not very, not very deep. First down and ten. Hummer Co rolls right, throws to Wolf, who makes the great catch. I'll give him six or seven yards. Rams making great gains here. Might go back to Purifoy. Might, might show a little back and forth action, sideline to sideline. Yeah, so far it's working. These rollout plays, Hemrosio's starting to find his groove a little bit, getting hot. Ballard in the backfield now with Hermosillo. Three minutes to go. It's going to go to Ballard. It's going to get behind R.J. Angs. He'll be brought down after a gain of two. Have an interesting spot here. You know, you wonder if this is four down territory for the Rams or if kind of what they do here. Two minutes and 30 seconds here in the first half. Rams looking to score. They will get the ball after halftime. Arnold in motion on the right side. It's a handoff. Omen staying on his feet. Got to push the pile. Looks it's like he might have got there. be close. I mean, even if he didn't, I, I would line up again and just run the same play. Oh, if can just they gave it to him. They did give it to him. First down, Lakeside. It looks like he did kind of run away oh, from where man. the hole was now at. Now we've got an official timeout, and I believe they're going to – they might – surely not. Are they going to bring the chain out from the other side of the field? You can't be serious. This is going to be a, a big run here. A big – here they chain come. Chain gang, get ready. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, 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 bum. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, 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 bum. They're moving pretty quick. They need their own music. They partner, do. I believe. Mm -hmm. Anytime the chain crews come out, 100%. Let's get some. Get they some play music. an important role. They really do. Remember that time they had to use a penny or a nickel to decide if. There we go. Yeah, give them the first down. <laughs> You know, believe it or not, there the are Malvern some refs. The Malvern coach doesn't like it. Psh, he says, whatever. Well, you're over there, buddy. <laughs> so, uh, not really sure how. It's a first uh, down for Lakeside with two minutes, 12 seconds in the first half. 2-1-2, two, two, Lucas. That could be a sign. Not sure for what, but it could be a sign. <laughs> if we score a touchdown here, I might... No one in the backfield with Emerson. That's a sign. <laughs> Going deep. Someone's getting a touchdown. Get ready. Oh, Kyle Wolf motioning around the back. Oh, and Emerson drops the snap, but he'll step up and run. Have a good chance here to get a good gain. Emerson looking shifty out there, throwing out the juke moves. Made something out of nothing there. 
Might have been a bit of a lower snap than he was expecting. He'll give the Rams a first down with two minutes to go as the band is making their way for their halftime performance. See if the Rams can score first. And then you'll get your spotlight. Five wide again. Well, I guess four. Arnold is going to be blocking here. It's going to be a run. Hermosillo is going to get out of bounds, stop the clock, and get a good gain again. You know, it's like that scramble from Hermosillo almost reminded the, the Rams offensive coordinator that, hey, he's pretty good in the open field. I haven't seen a whole lot of design quarterback runs. And we're going to get another officials timeout. Oh, what? Unbelievable. And Oh, what right. are we talking about now? How Must to hold a hot dog? Or what okay, okay. It might have been a, a player equipment issue or something. All right. He just had to make sure. How do you hold a hot dog, Lucas? <sighs> With my hands? I don't know. Yeah, well, some people eat on a sandwich. Some people, you know. I eat it on a hot dog bun like a true American. Herman Seal runs it again to the right side. The student section theme tonight is USA for wondering why the hot dog talk was brought up. Hot dog, burgers, whatever you like. This is the USA. You have freedom. Joey Chestnut, arguably the greatest athlete of all time, <laughs> has won, I that think, like 14, 13. Absurd. Hot dog <laughs> championships, whatever they call it. Could be another run here, but it's going to go to Ben Vincent instead. Great blocking from space. Ballard and Purifoy. He's going to bounce the outside. We're going to have a flag. That might be holding on Purifoy. Looks like that's what it's going to be as the flag was thrown in that direction. minute and 30 and this is going to set the Rams back. Oh wait. Are they moving him up? Oh wait. No. Not sure. I was <laughs> I yeah. make a dream. All right. Move them back quite a lot. I mean, it is 15 yard penalty but I don't know. And the Rams we backed up. Bit of a drive staller there but a minute 30. They're at the 30. Let's see what they can do. Masters talking to Hermosillo. This is just another obstacle for the Rams offense, and the great ones do have to get over those obstacles. Homer Seal alone in the backfield. Most of this drive will be back there alone again. He'll throw it quickly to Wolf. It looks like the same play, but this time to Wolf on the right side. Breaks two tackles. Her Wolf is going to score! Tyler Wolf, too small. Bender, disrespectful. Oh my gosh, he has a family. That man has a family. Tyler Wolf breaks a big tackle. I mean, Ma Malvern's got to know better. If you leave Wolf with that much space, no man on him, he's gonna make something happen. But how many tackles he break? Three, four, and then the two small at the end? Disrespectful. Number ten is a bad man. Extra point is good. Here's Kyler Wolf's stat line from last week. Once again, the 67-yard touchdown. Boy, the biggest play of the game for Lakeside. That was the play where he broke multiple tackles to score, and there he does it again. Kyler Wolf looking like DK Metcalf out there. Not wrong. <laughs> you know, Wolf is almost a combination of, you know, the speed of Tyreek Hill, the physicality of DK Metcalf, the athleticism of Calvin Johnson. Oh, man. <laughs> be a first round pick in my book the kickoff huddle just kicked Spoon, Elijah Witherspoon out and out to the sideline that was pretty funny if you saw that
the lines. Boots this away. No, oh. Denver Davidson will boot it away, and it'll go out of bounds. Uh, I believe it happened last week. Coach Jolly, a little frustrated there with Denver Davidson, but you know, with a minute to go, that actually might have might have been crucial yards, but you got to hope for the best. Rams defense comes out. I'm not entirely sure why they keep trying that with Davidson is both times. I think it has gone out of bounds. There was one time it was pretty solid, though, I think last week. I believe if he's putting some drawback on it and it doesn't go out of bounds, yeah, might give them a, a better kick there. But No, yeah, it looks good, just a little bit too much power. It's a tough kick to execute. Yeah. Mavin will take over first down and 10 from the 35-yard line. Cannot give up a touchdown here if you're the Rams. Whatever you do. Free running. Oh, whoa. That was weird. It, yeah. I the saw, <laughs> I saw an old lineman come yeah, out of the, the pack. And I, out. I was like, <laughs> thought it was Dupree. I was yeah. wondering why nobody was going for him. <laughs> it's like they, they just swapped positions so quickly, and there's under a minute to go now. Looks like Malvern is content to go into the half up by a touchdown. I think they're they're just playing normal football. I mean, if they score, they score. Oh, oh no. Well, we don't want them to score. Allen steps up, and of he's going to run it. Joseph Newman putting some fear into him. He runs out of bounds. Yeah, if I saw Joseph Newman running straight at me, I'd be a little scared too. Joseph Newman just loves to hit people. It is, <laughs> I could not imagine taking a hit from Joseph Newman. And off again to Dupree, who spins off a tackler. Got to get him down, and they're going to drive him out of bounds. And now I feel like the Leopards are playing to score again. I feel like right. Dupree on a normal play would have just tried to plow through all four men. They do keep running out of bounds, so they're clearly trying to stop the clock. Allen steps up. He was definitely across the line of scrimmage. He throws it deep. It's going to be a touchdown. But did he not just step up in front of the line and throw the ball? It definitely did look like he was across the line of scrimmage. Oh, my goodness. Well, that was the one thing that could not happen if you're Lakeside. The one thing. Momentum killer. I mean, I mean I the perfect angle. I mean, he stepped right in front of the marker. Was his back foot still? By it though, or because your whole body has to be across, you know. So. Well, he was full sprinting, whatever. Time out, Lakeside. Coach Rock looks upset at the ref. He might have seen the same thing. He was pretty far up the field. I mean, he wouldn't be surprised. Back to my own research. Let's see here. Yeah, he was. I, think I mean, his probably, body was definitely. The back in. foot may have been, but I don't know. I don't know. He looked pretty far across. Honestly, everything but his back foot was very oh, yeah. clearly everything in for front sure of the maybe line. Except his back foot. <sighs> A huge. I mean, I don't understand. I feel like if you're the Lakeside defense, you got to know they're going to try to take a shot to their best receiver, you know. I mean, play a deep safety or something. I mean, that cannot happen.
Point after is good. See if Lakeside can maybe get something going here on the kickoff return. It's a trick play, something spicy. I mean, is it is it crazy to think that Lakeside could score here with 15 seconds? Maybe the kickoff knocks off five or so. Kyle Wolf has looked unstoppable tonight so far. Yeah, it's especially in open space. They just get him the ball. I mean, even on screen plays, you know, it doesn't have to be a long pass. Just let him do his thing. Maybe but go hey. back to sophomore year when Braylon Russell threw Kyler Wolf a touchdown yep. on a trick play. Yeah. Good times, good times. Great times. Braylon Russell now at Benton, committed to the University hey, of Arkansas. Hey, we're still here, Braylon. You know? <laughs> oh, man. 28-14, to 14, Leopards lead. Let's get ready for the kickoff. Imagine it would be some sort of squib kick because they probably don't want the ball to end up in the hands of uh, Ballard or Vincent back there. Or just kick it straight out of bounds. And it will go out of bounds. So that's just even more time for Lakeside to dial up a, a big play. Yep, yep. No they, time comes up. They do have one timeout. All right. Maybe we'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. Hey, the Lions does have a huge leg. All right. I mean, he was banging 50 yarders in warm ups. You know, if they can get, I don't know, they have to get, uh, what, like Still get 30 yards, 40 yard play here to get in range? We'll see what they do. You got to get at least to the 40 yard line to give him a chance. Because that's where he was hitting from warm up. So. Which obviously the game environment's a lot different, but with Caleb right. Lions, you know. They're going to kneel it. Well. All right. We had, our ho we had high hopes, but, you know, the Rams are just going to get in the halftime, make some changes, hopefully come out in the second half. I want to shout out. I want to give a shout-out to National Park College, sponsoring halftime here. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in-person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Lakeside TV is a student-run broadcast program where dozens of students get the opportunity to produce live events. They can get hands-on experience creating graphics, videos, and commercials for Lakeside Athletics. They get the opportunity to get creative while learning Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Lakeside TV live streams a wide range of events from football to basketball to graduation. You can find all of our content on our YouTube page, Lakeside TV. Fly to new heights at Arkansas State University, Three Rivers in Malvern. Join us on campus or online. Learn a new skill or trade. Earn your GED. Provide workforce training for your employees or enroll in transfer classes. With financial aid available, plenty of support services, and small classroom sizes, our committed staff are here to help you every step of the way. Apply online and take your career goals to new heights today.
Fly to new heights at Arkansas State University, Three Rivers in Malvern. Join us on campus or online. Learn a new skill or trade. Earn your GED. Provide workforce training for your employees or enroll in transfer classes. With financial aid available, plenty of support services, and small classroom sizes, our committed staff are here to help you every step of the way. Apply online and take your career goals to new heights today.
gentlemen, we are proud of the team. The Lakeside High School Marching Band. This year's band is under the field of the drum majors, Caleb Carvin, David Orr, and Madison Kingsville.
Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M-Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Lakeside TV is a student-run broadcast program where dozens of students Fly to new heights at Arkansas State University, Three Rivers in Malvern. Join us on campus or online. Learn a new skill or trade. Earn your GED. Provide workforce training for your employees or enroll in transfer classes. With financial aid available, plenty of support services, and small classroom sizes, our committed staff are here to help you every step of the way. Apply online and take your career goals to new heights today.
Senior Max First down and 10 Rams. It's actually their 50th wedding anniversary, celebrating 50 years of marriage. Congratulations to Ronnie and Zola Brandon, Max Story's grandparents. Catch of the half, we go to the 35. Second. Good positive yards play on first down. See if Lakeside can keep getting the ball to Wolf as he's been almost unstoppable tonight. Marcio throws it quick right side to Wolf, a little high. Contact was there anyway. Looks like Malvern knew what was coming there. Third down and five. Armorcio's gonna keep looking for somewhere to go. Third and five, QB keeper, interesting call. It'll get a couple yards, it'll be first, fourth down. Made something out of nothing there. Didn't really look like there was a whole lot there, but was able to get some yards, see if they Go for it. Worked well in the first half, that last drive. Pretty risky to go for it here. Down two possessions though, two touchdowns. Fourth and three. Could see another QB keeper here. Yeah, I would really like that actually. Is Hermes was really good in open field. Throws it to Wolf. It's in, that's the best part on the field right now. And Kyler Wolf's going to break free. Oh, just gets tripped up by the shoelaces. And he'll get it up. See Cobb, but it pays off. I thought he was about to break that one free. If he breaks that shoestring tackle from the DB, he's probably gone. New set of downs now. Hamarcio looks for Omen out of the backfield, makes the catch, gets up past oh the 45. Gosh. That's got to be a horse collar right there. Face mask, horse collar, or something. I mean, he brought him down by the cowboy collar, and they don't get a call there. Great physical run. I by. mean, you can see he's affected by it. I mean, that was clearly. Glaringly obvious. Another bad call by the refs. It's just unbelievable. No call. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. I mean, Coach Rock is incredulous over there on the sideline. At some, I mean, at some point, we got to get one of these. I mean, he's had to come off the field for it, so, I mean. And the ref shrugging his arms. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just here. <laughs> 
Second down and four. Britton Diaz coming into the no 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 oh no no no. You might have to because remember they, oh yeah Atlanta Matthews. Britton Diaz is coming into the game. Yep, number four. Here he comes. Had one rush last week. It was a it was a good run. I got about five or six yards, I believe. If you're just joining us, the reason why Landon Matthews is on in the field is because he did get ejected in the first half. And he takes the ball and he gets the middle for the first oh, down. Wow. Britton Diaz. Slithering through. That'll give the Rams a first down. One touch, one first down for Mr. Diaz. Under nine minutes to go, Rams are driving. Brady Oman back in the game. And Dodge trying to bounce it out. Another great run by the Rams. Grady Oman is still shaking up. Could be separate injury. They're going to take an injury timeout here. Yeah, this time he's not getting up. Miles making signaling that it's his cap. Could be cramped. That is was a little bit of an awkward tackle. Let me give a shout out to Reliance Bank for sponsoring tonight's broadcast. Thank you, Reliance Bank. Glad to see him walk off the field, run off the field, actually. And looks like we'll be seeing Diaz coming back into the game if they choose to run the ball because now their top two running backs are both currently out of the game. Injuries and ejections starting to pile up here a little bit for the Rams as now they're at this point in time anyways without three key players and Brady Sauerbutz, Landon Matthews, and Grady Elman. Second and five. The ball was bobbled. Homer Seal's going to slide down. A little bit of miscommunication on the fake handoff. Got to cut Britt Diaz some slack there. Brady Arnold will come in the game if Diaz will come out. Hermosillo is pretty good at turning a broken play into some positive yards, though. We'll say that. Third and seven. He's going to keep it again here. Ooh, he's going to take a hard hit, but he's going to roll. I think he fumbled. And it's somehow recovered his own. I'm not sure what happened. That was a weird. That was a weird He went from down to the ball. Like he teleported. I didn't even see him get up. <laughs> the, the second half tonight, we've seen some crazy stuff. Weird hit. Oh. Things, things, weird things happening here at Jake Austin Field. Shot of the student section. Theme is USA. And I'm proud to be an American. At least I know I can. Fourth and one. Hand off to Omen. That should be good enough. That should be good enough for a first down. It's got to be. It's got to be close. And they're not even going to. Uh, not even going to bring up the chains or anything? Oh, wait. No, no. They're going to get the ball to Malvern. We're not even going to measure? Measured it earlier. I'm not sure why they're so hesitant to do it again with these refs once again. And now I think they, your coach Rock has called a timeout. Have these referees refed a game before? 
at all. Pee wee. Anything. Flag football. I mean, it's hard to tell, truly. Right. Tonight. Say that. Leopards take over first down and 10. As the Rams defense comes out again. Secondary having a rough night. One wing. Die line. Or die. Short gain there on the run. A.J. Howard has checked out of the game. Zach Haywood checks in. Is this the first defensive snap with Howard on the field? I think it might be. Zach Haywood looking to prove himself. Junior. And he makes a great job. First tackle, slams him to the ground. Played some running back last year for the Rams before Grady Oman. It's a completely new backfield when you really think about it, even though it changed last year. And Zach yeah. Garrett and Zach Haywood led, led the Rams in rushing for the first couple few weeks. can't remember how long it was. Mm -hmm. Before Grady Oman ultimately took over and proved that he deserves to be the starter. Here we are a season later. And he's still got that running back one roll. Yes. Third down and five. Looks like a run here. Ron Dupree out of the wild cat. There's a flag. And Flags my everywhere. Goodness. My goodness. My story gosh. blows up Jalen Dupree. Wow. You know, earlier, Jalen Dupree bulldozed right over Max Yeah, Thornton. he did. Right there. Proving the doubters wrong. He takes down. The Colorado State commit. Max Story took that personal, ladies and gentlemen. And folks, there's another great example of Max Story laying the wood. Part two. Last year versus Hot Springs. This year against Malvern. Against really good players, too. Oh, yeah. Last year, I believe it was Hot Octav Springs. Octavius Rhodes, yep. mm -hmm. I believe. This year, Jalen Dupree. And the Leopards are punting. We've got a bounce right at the. Hey, that play keeps the Rams in the game. Because, I mean, if they, you know, they give up a touchdown that drive, you're going down by three scores. You know, but hey, two score game, good field position. Offense can get this to one score going into the fourth quarter. Anything can happen. The defense stepped up there. Big plays from Zach Haywood and Max Story. You know, not very often you see a play like that, but uh, that's what I like to call a father-son moment <laughs> for Max Story. Well, I, I would say they're even now. Personally. Yeah, well, that hit was better, though, if you think about it. Okay. Mauricio, got to run it again. Trying to pass it to the left, and he will be brought down from behind by number 44, Brandon Jackson of the Leopards. For a loss of four. Five. Looks like four, though. Five. It yeah. is five. I don't think back four. You know, the Kiwi Keepers had its ups and downs, but... Can't be losing yards like that on first down. Down by two touchdowns. See if we get a pass here. Second and 15. 
imagine they'll go back to Kyler here at some point as that has proved to be their bread and butter so far. They will try it, and it is intercepted. What a play. I mean, he wow. flew in like Superman. Yeah, he did. That was that was unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't even be mad. That was that was an, almost Travis Hunter-esque. That was an incredible play. Yeah, Travis Hunter-esque. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Travis Hunter has uh, taken the college football world by storm, made a great diving interception. Similar to that one against TCU last weekend, and that's uh, what Dylan Caradon's pick just then reminded me of. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. I mean, he was – Wolf was open. He was wide open, and then all of a sudden he wasn't, you know. Not sure. I mean, earlier – you saw earlier they tried to get it to Wolf quickly. It didn't work out, but tried it again. didn't work there. And uh, – can't seem to get anything going in the secondary. Uh, just a whole lot of nothing going on. And there's Dylon with the reception. Now I feel like we really are watching Travis Hunter. I know. I didn't even think about the fact that it was back to back too. The pick and then the, the big gainer. First and ten from the sixteen yard line. See what the Leopards draw up here. Dupree and the Wildcat. Takes a snap. Runs it right up the middle. She's going to plow forward. Yeah, there's nothing Hermosillo could do about that one. I mean, he was wide open, and then he wouldn't. Dupree and the Wildcat again. Joseph Newman in there. Brady Arnold. Grady Oman. Timeout taken. Rams are going to have to come up with another stop here. As they've had their chances on offense this half. Started with the ball. Wasn't able to do a whole lot. And then got the ball back after forcing a punt. And still was not able to do much. So they're going to have to force another turnover, another stop. Third down and six. Dupree is going to be 
short, surely. I don't think he. He might be at the line. He might get it. The way the refs have been. Yeah, oh, you never might, know. They might give him a fourth down here. Fourth and inches. I mean, Gotta it's put be hard in. to stop him here, but. Gotta put in all your big bodies here. Stack the box. Biggest play of the game, arguably. Dupree takes a snap, goes left side, gets That's first gotta down. Be. What did you see there, Parker? It looked like it was holding when uh, Story was trying to get off the block to make the tackle, but guess not. Might not have been enough of a hold to call. The ball goes back. Haywood not quick enough to get it, but that is going to be a big loss for Malvern. Good job by Dupree, though. Yeah. Heads up play by him. Get back on top of it. Snap rolls right flag on the play. Before Looks we like get going, might be a false start. Yeah, moving back five yards. See, here's where Lakeside has got to pounce on this opportunity and force a turnover. Offense is out of sync. It's now second and 18. Or wait, no, yeah, second and 18. Now is a chance to force a turnover. off right side great job by Jalen Nelson to bring down Clegg it's a great job by Nelson setting the edge not letting them bounce outside third and goal for the Leopards but it's going to be end of the th third quarter first. Rams still down by 14. Yep. Scoreless third quarter for both teams. Imagine we'll see some fireworks here in the fourth as it's hard to keep down both these offenses. Shout out since our replay, our replays have been down tonight. Sorry for the inconvenience, but we're gonna give a quick shout out to Rockstar Wellness Clinic for sponsoring tonight's game. It's actually Max Story's mother, Miss Felice Horn. It's her business. Also, want to give shout outs to Arkansas State University Three Rivers. And Reliance Bank and National Park College for your support. Third down and goal from the 17 for Mallard. 
Allen rolls. Nelson right pounces. It's a sack for number five, Jalen Nelson. Number five, Jalen Nelson. The as he was able to get the quarterback on the ground. Turned on the jet pack. And it'll be fourth and goal from the 30-yard line. Fourth and goal from the 28. Don't see that very often. Put Big someone play. deep. You gotta put someone deep. Put someone at the end zone at this point. Can't give up anything deep. Don't have to play th rush three, drop everyone back. Anything. We got a timeout, Malvern. Jalen Nelson with the sack. But that's the first sack of his career. It is. Yeah. The senior. It's Came always back a good, to football. Uh, good day when you get your first of something. First phone, first car, first sack, you know, first house. Being able to pay off that first house bill, you know. I mean, I wouldn't know. I'm just. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I don't. I'm not sure. I've never bought a house, personally. Yeah. I don't really want one, to be honest. <laughs> what is. Yeah, like to travel the world, maybe. See some. Fair, uh, enough, fair enough. Sights and sounds in the different countries. Miles making down on the sideline. I believe trainer Coach Lewis is checking his knee. Checking Miles Mekin's knee. Would love to have Coach Lewis out there playing linebacker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Fourth down and 28. Fourth down and goal from the 28. Would like to have some safeties deep, but, you know, we're rocking with it. And he is high, stepping to the sideline as Coach Rock is hyped. Haywood is pumped. Story's congratulating him. Gotta give Haywood credit. He gave up the big gainer to start the drive, but at the end of the day, he's the reason the Rams get the ball back. Yeah, it was a great play, because that was a pretty well-thrown ball, and if it he didn't was. make that play, Caradine's got it for a touchdown, and it's 35-14. So you're looking at an almost uncomebackable score. But now it's more than comebackable. <laughs> We're coming back. <laughs> Get ready. It all starts with this drive. 28 to 14. Rams down. Mauricio drops back to pass. Throws it deep he has to Ryan Ballard. Pass interference. Yep. Pass interference. Great call, yeah. ref. That's a great job. They're trying to sell it the interception, but that was a pretty obvious. He yeah. jumped up to the ground and everything. Second time, Cardine yeah, has had he, to. He bumps into his body before um, before the ball. He's putting his yeah. case, but I mean, not much of a case to plead. When you look back at the film, he'll know for sure that, that was a flag and a mistake. But in the moment, you know, he just wants that interception. Right. He's had a great game. He has. He's had an unbelievable Travis Hunter esque. I mean, he's been. He really has been. Good. Former Lakeside Ram. Yeah, former Lakeside Ram. Yeah. Back in middle school. Actually played basketball with him in middle school. So, uh, I just say that. <laughs> First down and 10. After the pass interference, bobbles the snap, gets it out to Vincent. And there he goes. Vincent with a speed. Ooh. It's a first down there. Nearly <laughs> busted it open. It's going to be holding on Lakeside, though. Hermosillo's calling it already. I believe. How do you hold that fast? Holding on Lakeside. I mean, it wasn't a whole lot of time to hold. <laughs> I don't Definitely feel a good it. question. Britton Dion is checking back into the game. Had that nice one earlier for a first down. Got a lot of potential in the junior. Oh, yeah, 100%. Figured he'll split the backfield next year with Omen. Oh, yeah. Matthews well. will be off. A little Tony Rangers. Pollard, Deuce Vaughn duo, you know? <laughs> oh, gosh. Deuce Vaughn is most likely shorter than both. Probably. That's right, Max, yeah. But he's still the dog. 
Holding on Lakeside will back him up. First down. First down and 20, 20 yards. I feel like Kyler Wolf, one-on-one -on -one with Cardine, might be a good player, but Cardine's playing way off. Wolf, though, turns on the Jets. He's got him beat, oh. but Hermosillo, the pressure comes in. Wolf wasn't under pressure. Just wasn't able to let it rip. Four. Second down and 24 coming up. the ball here and set up maybe somewhat manageable third down. Oh, well, they're going to throw it here. Hermes is going to step up, throw it deep for Purifoy. Try to make the one-handed grab. Incomplete, just a little too much on it. Yeah, you got to keep it in the field of play and give your receiver a chance. So now it'll be third down and very, very long. Imagine you got two plays to get this, I think. Even backed up this far. You don't want to give the ball back to Malvern. Ten minutes here in the fourth. Big play, third down. Got to get something here for the Rams. Diaz does a great block. Nothing develops. And the Rams will... I don't. Yep, looks like they're going to send out the punt team. They will punt, which I agree with. I absolutely would not want to go for it on fourth down and not get it and give Malvin the ball at the 30 yard line. Refs feeling not so generous and backing them up another yard. It is what it is. Hopefully we get a booming punt here from Brady Arnold. Maybe a fake, you never know. Never know. What a punt. Great punt there. Oh, Beautiful deep punt. Back. Friendly Gonna bounce. Keep bouncing and it'll get about the 21 yard line. Yeah, that's a great job by Mr. Brady Arnold. See if the Rams can come up with one more stop. There's been no points by either team in the second half. Rams have played great defensively the second half. Just haven't been able to get anything going on offense. Rams. Turnover would be huge. Rams need a turnover or a, a quick three and out here. But, you know, those have been very rare. I don't know if they've been a single three and out. They've only punted once. So pretty starts to drive off good for the Leopards. Right now, if you're the defensive coordinator for the Rams, you got to be telling your defensive backs and linebackers to punch at that ball as much as possible. Great job. RJ Angs forcing him, forcing Dupree into. I think it's Miller. Trey Matthew Miller. Oh, Matthew Miller. Yeah. <laughs> Big 71 right there in the middle of the D line. I believe it was either Matthew Miller or Trayvon Totley. One of them for sure. 
Big third down here. Third and three. Got to pack the box and uh, take your losses if they decide to pass. And there's a flag. And now we're, we'll get the first down. Not sure where the flag was even thrown, why it took so long to yeah. make the call. I mean, they're about to never, get I never the actually play. saw a flag. I never, never saw a flag. I'm just really questioning these refs right now. Yeah. Uh, this just And off to Clegg. Taken down by. Up, oh, and that'll be personal foul on Vinny Winters, number 76, as he gave RJ Angs a little shove after the play. Back him up 15. RJ Angs getting in his head a little bit. RJ Angs will do that. He is great at mind games. Yes, he is. Off the veil. I bet he'd be good at... <laughs> Speaking game. of Clue, <laughs> yeah. first weekend of November, Lakeside Productions present to you Clue. Like the board game. First Show weekend of November. To the drama. Second and 24. Coming up eventually. Could be the next 30 seconds. Could be the next 30 minutes. Could be the next 30 days. There it is. There it is. It was 30 seconds this time. It's a handoff to Clegg. Runs He's right into a down. Brick wall. Brady Omen and Miles Macon on the tackle. Quite a duo over there on the left side. Both of them have been a little banged up tonight, but fighting through pain is what makes champions great. So third, so it'll be third and long for the Leopards. There's number nine, Max Story on your screens. Revis Island over there on the right side. I said Revis. <laughs> oh, great my gosh. So far. Oh, almost Story sacked. Out. And now Spoon. Max Story, get your hands up. Great oh, job. it's incomplete. Way to keep the receiver's vision blocked. Max Story, Story Time, Story Island, whatever you want to call it. It's incomplete. It's fourth and long now. When you've reached the point where you have more than one awesome nickname, I mean, come on. <laughs> Matthew Miller limps off the field. Are they going to go for this on 4th and 25? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I didn't see the punter. I was, uh, yeah. I was very confused. This bar right here in front of me is blocking him. Punts away. And we have no one back to receive. And it'll and bounce out of bounds. Oh, it'll bounce back even more. And the Rams will take over inside. Well, Let's 40. just say you win some, you lose some. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, that's great field position, though. This is actually this is very, very good. Seven minutes. Rams need two touchdowns to tie. 7-11, Lucas. It's a sign. 7-11. Rams need two touchdowns to tie. Two touchdowns and a field goal, potentially, to take the lead. One thing that I'm noticing the past two games. I feel like the crowd hasn't been, for Lakeside, as loud as usual. No, um, they were much louder last week at Russellville. Hammer Seal's going to step off. We threw two defenders. Throw it to the wide open man. Touchdown, touchdown Lakeside. Ryan Ballard will moon walk into the end zone. And that's a touchdown just like that. Hemi, can't miss him. Her, oh, wow. I can't even <laughs> speak English. <laughs> Hemi Hermosillo. <laughs> With the dime, split the D-line, and man, there was no one within 50, 60, 70 yards of him. It's a little bit of an exaggeration. That was, that was an exaggeration, but wide open. Goodness. Don't know how he got through the second there. Nobody even spotted him. I mean, he was just sitting there waiting. Could have made a five-course meal before the defender got <laughs> over there. Lines point out there is good, and just like that, 28-21. It's only been 
Eight seconds. Did, I said, I said 7-11 was a sign. The 7-11, it was a sign. And that was the 7 plus 11. 18. 18. Ryan, Ryan was Ballard. 18. Wow. Oh this is goodness. just incredible. And what's 7 plus 3? 10. Here comes Kyler Wolf. 28-21. <laughs> Leopards still lead, but the Rams have shown life. That was the absolute best case scenario for the Rams. Quick score, and this is a whole new ball game. Now the pressure's back on Melbourne, and we'll see if they'll fold under the pressure or if they'll rise to the occasion. First points of the second half for either team. Yep, but a very defensive-minded second half, which is a bit surprising considering both these offenses are very high scoring. If you've liked the graphics tonight, if you like the pictures on them, I just want to credit Brittany Martin and Mandy Ballard. Thank you for letting us use the incredible photos for our graphics. Thank you again, Brittany Martin and Mandy Ballard. See if he'll do what he did last time to cause the muff or if you kick it through. I think you might want to kick this one out of the back and start him as deep as possible. Lines kick is away. Another great kick. Go out of bounds. Touchback. Leopards will take over. And the Lions has really done a great job with his kickoffs tonight. PA announcer getting, trying to get the crowd hyped up. They've been pretty quiet tonight. Can't let Malvern run down the clock. Story will come off the field. It's a rare sight to see on defense. Yeah, not sure why, but hey. No one in the backfield, except for the quarterback throws of the middle overthrown. Allen's pass incomplete. He was looking for the big tight end, Keelan J. Listed at 6'5", 239. Hard to miss, hard to overthrow to a man that tall. Yeah, that's pretty tall. She noticed a little bit too much on it, and now it'll be third down and four. Got to be expecting run off your leg side. 100%. The ball is definitely going to Dupree Swanson. You got to be ready for that. Dupree Swanson? Uh, why did, what just happened? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Jalen Dupree. Jalen Dupree. <laughs> Dupree, it's a pass. Oh, never Allen mind. Allen throws it. He, he dropped, dropped it. it. Incomplete. Four down and four. Jinx Parker. Oh, my goodness. We said at the same time, 625. That's, uh, <laughs> equals 13. Can't, nope. What? Because <laughs> six plus two was eight plus five is 13. He's 13. Fourth down, and I believe the Leopards are going to punt. Yeah, it's too risky, this end of your field. You don't get it. Great field position. Got to watch out for the fake punt, though, maybe. It's definitely a possibility. That is a good point, yeah. That's why there's no one deep. You're ready for anything. And they do send it away. Let's see if it bounces back like they did last time. This time it's going to be a good punt. It'll roll past the 25. It'll die down about the 22. And here comes the Rams offense. Down by seven, 6.18 to go. And if they're going to tie this ball game or take the lead, two point conversion, this is the drive to do it. Chase dude trying to get the crowd hyped up. They hyped up for about those five seconds, and now it's complete silence again. Let's see if Hemi Hermosillo can lead this team back from the dead. It's aggressive. <laughs> it feels like we've been brought to life, Lucas. 
Less than a minute later. Pure Foy's in one-on-one -on -one over there on the left side. Less than a minute later from the Ballard touchdown, the Rams have it again down by seven. Kyle Wolf makes a great play. He jumps and gets about two or three more yards. And there's a flag. I'm not sure. Officials time. I think the ref dropped it because the ref is saying my bad to Coach Rock. So I don't, I don't think there was actually a penalty. As he's putting the flag back in his pockets. Not sure what happened. Not sure what they're talking about. There's a flag on Malvern. I don't. I'm not. All right. There's too many men on the field. I don't. I don't How know far are we happened. taking this thing? Twenty yards. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Wish we would have seen what the And call just was. like that, they're about midfield. So what a twenty-seven. Illegal substitution. There it is. On um, Malvern and 42's got his arms up. Like what? How you? Even the co the coach has got his arms up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was that. <laughs> I can't. I've never uh, seen that. <laughs> oh my god! He was ready. Throws it to the left side. I don't know if I don't know if y'all saw that, but the Malvern defender is in the wrong spot. He's he slid over. Yeah, like he did like a, a wrestling move. Like <laughs> slid around him. Like a ninja just slid over into his spot. Pass is short to Purifoy. Karate Kid. You ever watch that show? Yes. I've never seen it. Oh. Yeah. Of course you yeah. have. Pretty rough childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Remember COF set with himself after the short throw. Second down of 10 now. Six minutes on the clock. That he slid it again. again. <laughs> he slid again. Britton Diaz yeah, running right. behind some blockers. Feeling like it's about a yard. Bring up a oh. third nine. Now this is a big play. Under six minutes, he got the big stop. Got the big touchdown on the drive before. You'd hate to see this drive end this early. It just can't. I imagine Wolf is the target here. The corner just got over to Purefoy's side. Vincent gets the ball out of the behind the line of scrimmage, still going. And now it's up past the 50. You got to think about going for it here, maybe. Oh, yeah. Have to. Defense has looked good. I think it wouldn't be a. I think it'd be a good idea. I think they are going to go for it. Fourth. What's your best play call, Coach Masters? Right here. Coach Four Bradley. down and three. A little under five minutes to go. And a timeout taken by the Rams. This is a big play. If they can get this first down, it's going to be a tie. I want to give a special shout out to our timeout sponsor tonight, Reliance Bank. Thank you, Reliance Bank, for sponsoring tonight's game. Once again, thank you, Reliance Bank.
Fourth down. Oh my goodness. 4.44 on the clock. Fourth down. And oh three. my gosh. Only thing I could have made that better was fourth down. They're up four. the fours, Lucas. Fourth quarter, two. Oh fours to the sky. Fours everywhere. Get it to your best player. Hammerseal back to pass. Throws it quick over the middle to Vincent. Makes the sliding grab. What a catch. Spin, Vincent. And guess what number is in his number? Four. Four. Only took Hermosillo three seconds to find Vincent. I will say, I think they were just going for the first down because yeah. it could have been a huge play. It been oh, it could have been a touchdown. touchdown. Oh, yeah. There but was you no way to make sure you it. get that first down. Right. Just in case something goes wrong. But right. Ben Vincent, man, and grab Then last again, week. you don't want to give Malvern too much time. Right, you know, right. so. Malvern, or. Er, ben Vincent made diving catch last week for a touchdown and makes a sliding catch there for the first down. And the ref comes in from the 30 yards away. Even <laughs> what? <laughs> the ref who he was in the end zone. Oh, <laughs> Dang near. That is incredible. Why did he make the call? I uh, well, he might have. He probably had a good. I'm not. Idea. I'm not entirely sure why. Well, I guess the refs on the opposite side of the field aren't gonna. Be, why are there two? Refs? I don't know. Well, it is what it is. The more I think about it, that ref probably did have a better angle. I was thinking, why didn't the ref right there make the call? But he played in a bad angle, so apologies, apologies. Yeah, yeah. That's on us. You know, apologize. just frustrated in the moment. When yes. Be a catch. Yes. Another timeout for Lakeside. And we have zero left. I want to thank our timeout sponsors again, Reliance Bank. Thank you, Reliance Bank, for sponsoring tonight's broadcast. This has been a great game. Just a wonderful game. You know, it started off slow. It started to feel like it was getting out of Lakeside's hands. But, you know, it, the last the touchdown at the end of the first half, which shouldn't have counted. The quarterback was over the line. Easily, easy call. I could have made it. 28-14 at halftime, but the Rams have come back. 28-21. Driving down the field with four minutes and 22 seconds to go. 4-2-2. Equals eight. Just saying. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but yeah, I feel like we're playing on this too much. The seven eleven yeah. thing that was that was cool. That was actually cool. That was really mm -hmm. that was it all lined up perfectly. Yeah, it did. The stars align then. The moon and the sun must align now. Now if we get a play with like one second left, then I'll play black like number one. Right. Oh. So, yeah. Oh no. yes. Yes. Or a ten. Or a 14. Or a touchdown. <laughs> Second down, Hermosillo. Has there he is, he's open. Purifoy. He's going to run this one. He's got room. Oh, Stays he's done a bounce. Jukes of it. Oh, my Jacob gosh. Oh, my gosh. Jacob Hermosillo. Lamar Jackson. I can't tell the difference. Justin Fields. Is that Michael Vick? Are you serious? Four minutes on four minutes eleven seconds, and the Rams score. The PAT will tie the game. Jacob Hemercio. Like I said before, Hemi Hermo. And we were just talking about if there's one second on, uh, that'll be that'll be cool. There's number one, Jacob Hermercio scores the next play. It's all a sign. And the lines ties the game as he is four for four from the extra point tonight. And folks, it's a tie game. It's 28 all, 4-11 to go. Just when you thought all hope was lost, the Rams were struggling. The first half wasn't pretty. The second half, zero points given up so far. They've scored 14. The Coach Rams Rock. are hot. We said it at the start of the broadcast. The Rams are hot. And one thing about this Lakeside team that I think we're seeing tonight for the first time this season that Coach Rock has really instilled into this team is that they finish games with heart and passion and toughness and hard work. Never die attitude. Never no, give they, up Last attitude. season, I mean, they played hard, but at times, you know, they might have given up or fallen down. There if was they, a lack of effort. Yes, after they got down by, you know, 10-plus points. But this team has a never-give-up mentality that Coach Rock has instilled into them. And that's why it's 28-28 
and the lines is kicking off. I imagine he'll try to hit it through the back of the end zone like he's done so far tonight. Twice, I believe. Don't want to give them good field position. Absolutely. Maybe kick it to about the 10 if you can't control it. But they might just let it bounce. We'll kick it to the 30. Fair caught at the 33. Might have been looking for that sweet spot like last time, but the Leopards are ready for it. Leopards take over. First and 10. 28 all. Four minutes, 11 seconds. Rams have no timeouts. So if the Leopards drain the clock and get down into the red zone, would not be pretty for Lakeside, but the defense has looked sharp this second half. Zero points given up after 28 in the first. An impressive performance. Zach Haywood. And story again. I'm not sure what. I don't know what that's about, but. On. I mean, the defense has still been looking on the last drive when he came out. Dupree brought down after a short game. Malvern is going to take their time, I would expect here. I think they have confidence, even though this Rams defense has looked really good here in the second half. Throw right side. Wide great tackle. Man. That's a great tackle. Third down coming up. Got to expect a run here, but they did throw it on a third and short earlier. They did. But it didn't work out. I don't think it did. It, yeah, so. I think that was the play where he threw I think you stack the box here for Lakeside, and if they happen to complete a pass, you just got to live with it. Third and three. Three minutes. Around three. A little over three minutes left in the game. Third down and three. Dupree takes a direct snap. And he's going to get the first down. He is stuck to Jalen Nelson. That looked incredibly weird. It, it did. It, like it looked like they were running with a backpack. I don't yeah. know sure what was going on. It looked there's, like they were stuck to each other. There's yeah. three minutes of Trayvon Totley's a little shaken up. Three minutes and seven seconds. Malvern gets the first down. Spoon's coming in for Totley. and has to limp run off the field. Not sure why Story is not in on this drive, but coach knows more than I do. Allen throws it deep. Oh, Haywood closing in. What a play. Knocks the ball out. What a Zach job. Zach Haywood proving his worth. What a job, Mr. Haywood. His second pass breakup of the night. Dylon had a step on him, but he was able to recover. I was worried at first, but Haywood, yep. great closing speed mm -hmm. to Perfect get the timing. stop. And now RJ Angst is going to check in Eli Gale for out. Zane Garrett. Oh, excuse me, Zane Garrett. I never even noticed Zane Garrett coming into the game. Oh, yeah. And a former running back for the Rams last year. He's moved to the defensive line this year, second and ten. Dupree directs snap. He's going to run it. He's going to break free. Jalen Dupree down the field. And a big run for the Leopards inside the 20 now. Not good for Lakeside with 2.36 on the clock. Now you got to imagine they're just going to run, run, run here. Yeah. Those pass, I guess, is <laughs> those passes deep down the field really started opening up the run game. What did I say? Passes, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't I sure was trying happened. to figure out what you were trying to say. <laughs> First and 10 for the Leopards, 2.15. The time is still winding down. Dupree's going to get upfield, and he's going to score. But honestly, that's that, okay. That's it's, okay. You wanted to have mm -hmm. time. You didn't want them to run, right. run, run, right. and then score with 30 seconds right. left. Of course. Because mm -hmm. I mean, they got down there. I mean, it looked they looked like they were going to score. Up. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, so you'll you'll you're mad about that, but you'll take it if right. you're Lakeside. It's not worst case scenario. Absolutely. <laughs> be a, be big if we get a missed PAT here. Or a oh, block. it'd be huge block. You know, fumbled snap, something. Let's see. A point after, a big point after, if you think about it. Anywho, 
Malvern takes the lead again, but two minutes on the clock for the Rams. No timeouts. We'll see what they do here. Could we see an overtime? Could we see Malvern just winning the game 35-28? There's no telling what the outcome is going to be tonight. Been a crazy game. It has been. It's been a really good one, though. Seen an ejection. We've seen a, a fourth and goal from, what was it, the 30 or something? Yeah, it was, it was four, 28, I think. Yeah, 28. We've seen it all tonight. We have. And at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if we return this for a touchdown. Not likely, but the unlikely. Never it's say never. Possible. Never say never. Yep. Peter Pan, right? And that is slipping. Or something. Never oh, oh, that's Neverland. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> got so, it. It's got not it what he says either. It's just... The kick goes to Ballard. He does have speed. We'll take it out. Not bad. All right. Solid return. Get it up to the 30, which we'll take. It's better than... 20. All right. I think they're going to set it down at the 31 yard line. Yep. 31, 30, 31, 30. Oh, here we go. Oh, we are still not. Oh, wrong ball. <laughs> what is going on? All right. <laughs> 31 yard line. All right, Lakeside. 69 uh, yards to, say, to tie 69 this game. 69 yards to the end zone. Not really anything we can do with those numbers. Uh, Max Sori is number nine, but he doesn't play offense. Pressure comes. Number Seal rolls out. He'll throw Great. it to Wolf. He was in. He was in. That's got to be. Yep. What a catch what a ca from <laughs> Kyler Wolf. NFL stuff. NFL if stuff. If you're number 10 for the Leopards, let's get a name here. Todd Dixon. Got to be a little embarrassed. Well, I mean, not really. He did what he, he did I mean, everything he, he could do. I, I mean, personally, he should have been able to push him out of bounds. I mean, that's true. That, yeah, good point. Good point. Good point. Kyler Wolf with a great grab. I'm Move sure Dixon sticks. did all he could do. It's just a little. It's in the moment. I apologize. First down and ten. Little under two minutes to go. Armor Seal back to pass. Throws it over the middle. Got Ben Vincent wide open. Going down the field, and he's down to the to twenty. What a play by Ben Vincent. At first, I thought Mama was just going to let him score. It looked like they were just Yeah, it looked like they were slowing up. Strolled down but, the sideline. Yeah, but the safety turned on the Jets. A big play for Lakeside. Ben Vincent, crucial part of this game. Oh, yeah. Crucial first down on the last drive. Big play there on this drive. Hey, we haven't heard from Purefoy a whole lot tonight. We're kind of in his area right now. He's a huge red zone target. Don't be surprised if you see a one-on-one -on -one ball. Absolutely. Hermo's going to run this one, though. Buck down. Another short game. Short game. And Cole Martin gets shoved after the play, and the ref just does not care. You know, nine times out of ten, that's a flag. Ten times out of ten, actually. Well, obviously. That was the one. <laughs> yeah, that was the one. Nine out of ten times. One minute to go. Hermosillo throws. No, he's going to keep it. He's going to step up. Throw it. No. What a touchdown. 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 Is that? It's Ryan Ballard. Again. How does he do it? Wide open every time. I don't get it. Number 18, Ryan Ballard. He gets open. It's what he does. Do we go for two? Again. For two. Uh, the no, offense is like going out. The, field. the offense is on the field. With a minute to go? That's, oh, wow. Coach With a Rock. minute to go? Coach Rock. I respect it. I respect it. I do respect it. Wow. This no is timeouts, big. though. No timeouts. You got to know what you're doing. This is big. Hold your breath. Say your prayers. The Rams are looking to take the lead, a two punt conversion with a minute to go. Play the game. Game on the line. This is. And they're coming to the sideline. All right. Malvern takes. A timeout, their final timeout, 35-34. Rams are looking to do a two-point conversion. Me personally, if I'm Coach Bradley, the man who calls the plays for this Lakeside offense, I'm putting the ball in the hands of Kyler Wolf. That's what I'm doing. He's your best athlete on the field. He's great at making people miss. 
I mean, what's the point conversion? What, three yards away, two yards away? Something like that? You're telling me Kyler Wolf can't go get three yards with the game on the line? I don't think they're going to go Wildcat here, but a Kyler Wolf Wildcat play, I think, is your highest I think it percent is. chance yes. to score. But I think they're going to try and take a safer option. Maybe roll Hermo out if someone's open, throw it. If they're not, he can run go it. Go for it. Right, yeah. Because in the open field, your two best players, I guess, at making people miss are probably Hermo and Ed Wolf. Send Omen out with him on the bootleg. Roll to the left. If there's someone there, he can run it. All oh, right, man, ladies and gentlemen. Play. Play the, this is the game. Game this of the line. Game. No timeouts for the Rams. 35-34. A minute to go. If the Rams don't get this, they go home 2-1. and one. Say your prayers now. Here we go. Wolf in motion. Wolf gets it. No, Hermosillo still has it. He throws it. Vincent is saying he caught the ball, and now they throw a flag. Another flag. For unsportsmanlike conduct, I assume. Hermosillo didn't have enough on the throw. He was wide open, and he underthrew. Oh, that was it, man. Barring some sort of miracle, the Leopards are going to win this one. Rams are going to lose their first game of the year by one point. Brutal. Lakeside fans standing in shock. They can't believe it. I mean, Ben Vincent wide open. Wide open. It was a great play call. Rams could onside kick it here. They could. I think that's what they're going to try and do, actually. I didn't even think about this. Yeah, it's their best chance. Of course, kicks me backed up. It's Ben Vincent very frustrated. I mean, if he caught it, I understand, but... I mean, from here, it looks short. It did, yeah. Leopard's got the hands team out there, most likely. Dylon up on the front lines. They've done it before. They did it in, in this game. They, they have, have recovered a kickoff. Now, it wasn't in the, these circumstances, but right. Denver Davidson is on the field. You could see a trick kick here. No, they're going to onside kick it. Good job by the Malvern Hands team to recover that one. Hard fought battle from the Rams. You know, if you're lakeside, I mean, you can't hang your head. I mean, you're what you were one point away. These are the defending 4A state champs returning three D1 commits. Colorado State commit Jalen Dupree, Air Force commit Dylan Cardine. Vinny winners, five D1 offers. Yeah. Will be one eventually when he does decide to commit. It's just an unfortunate way to end the game because, I mean, the play call, it worked. I mean, it, it worked. Was it was there. Yeah. I mean, you can't be mad about the decision to go for two. Oh, yeah. Just didn't get enough air under the ball. And that's the ball game. Lakeside falls for the first time this year. 
35 to 34 at the end of the day you know past two games Lakeside hasn't been the greatest second half team today they weren't the greatest first half team they were a good second half team if they can get this together get the first half of the Lake Hamilton game the Russellville game pair it with the second half of this game this team can go far oh yeah they really can this team could win easily win eight games this year 100% 100% 35-34, Malvern wins. <sighs> Man, that's a tough loss. It is. Tough, tough, tough field to swallow. Especially when, I mean, the play was there. The play was there. You know, there. it's not it even that they made a good a, play on defense. It's just. A game of inches, you know what I mean? It is. That ball's thrown an inch or two further, yeah. and they're calling that a catch. Oh, yeah. Touchdown. And that's probably the game. I mean, I doubt Malvern scores. You know. But you never know. You never know. You never know. I've been Lucas Tuberville. I'm Parker Hudnall. God bless and go Rams.